Imagine you've just come across this cute house and you want to decide, should I buy it or not? The first rule is never fall in love with the property, especially not just because it's cute. Fall in love with the deal. Today, I'm going to show you the five ways that the so-called experts use to decide whether a property is a good deal or not. And I'm going to show you why I think they're all crazy. Hello, my name is Dolph Drews, the commercial real estate guy. And today I'm going to share with you some of the techniques people use to massively increase the value of their homes. These are some of the best techniques out there. When you see a house like this, this is a freestanding single family home, but it's not got a garage or garage as it's sometimes called. And you see that the tenant's car is out there in the open. Right now it's in the sun, but in the winter time it'll be in the sleet and the hail and the snow. And when you think about it further, for most tenants, their car is their biggest asset. It's not their home because they're renting. So when most investors see a home like this without a garage, they think, oh, this can't be a very good investment because there's no garage. There's nowhere for the tenant to keep his car undercover. I don't think I'm interested in this property. And yet for me, when I see it, I get excited. Not because I want to deprive a tenant of a garage, but because I know that I can buy this property cheaply because it's not got a garage. And then the cost of putting the garage or carport in there is relatively small, but in doing so, I'll massively increase the value of that property. Let me show you how that works. So here's an example of a property that has a carport. It's also in quite good condition. It's been painted up, but really the effort required to get this property looking really good is not that great compared with the way that other property looked before. But if you look at this carport, it's just got a couple of struts on the left hand side there to hold the roof line up. And then it's got a roof with a bit of a slope. Why does it have a slope? It's quite simple. When it rains, the water can, can fall off. The cost of building a carport like this, it varies a bit around the country and around the world. But in general, I can build a carport like this easily for $1,000. And my question to you would be, is that expensive or cheap? And the answer whenever you get asked that question is, it depends on what the return will be. Almost anywhere in the world for a house comparable to this, you would get roughly $80 a month extra for the rent. And by that, I mean, if the rent is currently $1,400 without a carport, then with a carport, it could be $1,470, $1,480, $1,500. $1, a month extra. When you calculate that over a year, it's $960, but call it $1,000 a year of extra income. In other words, the first option is that we build this carport for $1,000 and we get $1,000 extra a year coming in. I call that a 100% return. In fact, it gets better because that rental income, of course, is indexed for inflation. So over time, it will increase. Which other investment can you think of where once you've bought it, you can spend $1,000 and get a 100% return on that $1,000? Now, that's if we paid cash for it. Imagine if instead we're not paying cash for it, we still have it built. It still costs $1,000. We haven't paid for it yet, but now we go back and get a new appraisal. I'm telling you, with a carport like this in place, the value of the property goes up by about $10,000 because you've got the ex extra $1,000 of rent coming in. So we go back to the bank and say, Mr. Bank Manager, I've got a new valuation for $10,000 more. Will you please give me a new mortgage? And he'll say, yes, that's what banks do. They want to lend money on real estate. So with that extra $10,000 of value, they'll easily give you $7,000. So we take that 7,000 from the bank. We use 1,000 of it to pay for the carport. Remember, we still have to pay for it. That leaves us with $6,000 and ask yourself the following question. Is it earned salaried income? No, it's not. There's no income tax on it. Is it the sale of something? No, there's no sales tax. It is tax free money for you to put in your pocket and do with as you see fit. Now, the smart ones amongst you will be saying, hang on a minute. We've now got an extra $7,000 of mortgage. And you're right. And we have to pay interest on it. And even at a ridiculously high 10%, and right now interest rates are more like 3%, but at 10%, that would cost you 700 a month. But we're collecting an extra 1,000 a month. So you get $300 extra. And you have a choice between spending $1,000 cash to build this carport and getting an extra 1,000 a year coming back in, or you pay no money for it at all. We do it all through the bank and we get $300 a year, index for inflation for the rest of your life, and you've got $6,000 in your pocket. Why would you not do this? 
adding a carport may be beneficial, but sometimes you might close in a carport to turn it into a garage. Or other times you might build a garage from scratch in a style not dissimilar from the building to make it look in keeping. But again, the value of a garage is even greater than the value of a carport because now you've got an extra layer of security. But these are all things you can do to massively increase the value of a property without spending much money. Now, in the case of this property, you can see that the, the balustrades is, are in a really poor state of paint. In fact, there's so much bare wood showing, you wonder whether parts of it have ever been painted. And most people, when they see this, they think this property can't be very good. I bet the plumbing's shot and the wiring's no good and the windows are probably cracked and I bet it's leaky as anything. And yet all it might take to paint this could be two or three hundred dollars. And when it's painted, suddenly everyone who before thought it was a no good property think, wow, look at that property. It's so pretty and shiny and bright and new. I bet the wiring's good and the plumbing's good and I bet all the windows work perfectly. So it's all perception. Sometimes by spending a little bit of money to increase the look of a place, you can massively increase its true value. And this one is just across the street from the last one we saw. And rather than being in dire need of paint, this one's pretty well been done up to the nines. It's got a nice new fence here and a good state of paint. It's got great plants here with flowering flowers. It's got a double garage with a, a garage door that's in great condition. The cost and effort required to get this property up to the condition it's in wasn't that great. But the perception amongst potential buyers or potential tenants, it doesn't matter which one, is that this is a much better property. And maybe it's not. Maybe it's no bigger. Maybe it only has one bathroom, the same as the other one. Who knows? but it just looks good. So street appeal goes a long way and there are so many things you can do to massively increase the value of a property without spending much money. So I always used to say that there are 101 ways of massively increasing the value of your real estate without spending much money. And being one to put my money where my mouth is, I wrote down 101 ways. Now, I'm going to ask you, do you think it was easy for me to come up with 101 ways? It was difficult. It was difficult to limit it to 101 because there are so many more ways and you can use your creativity. In fact, you can probably come up with your own 101 ways, which will be largely different from mine. But here's the great thing. If you get a copy of my book and it's available free of charge just by clicking on the link, if you get my copy of that book, 101 Ways, I guarantee you, you will not be able to read that without finding dozens of things that you can apply right now to properties that you already own, let alone properties that you're going to buy in the future. It's a great investment and with a zero cost to you, the returns are infinite. It's a great deal. Thank you for watching. I'm sure you learned something new and check out my next video to continue your path to financial freedom through investing in real estate.